I'm Shannon Skinner, and I'm here with Reverend Darcel Runciman, um, who's actually a friend of mine. Hi, Darcel. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Great. Awesome. Now, you are based in Belleville, near Belleville, yes. Ontario, which is east of Toronto. Uh, Darcel is um, a business and spiritual coach and minister, and I should refer to you as Reverend Darcel. <laughs> Uh, and uh, you've got a really uh, eclectic career. Uh, you've run a number of businesses as, as an entrepreneur for the over the years. Um, you have been a prison guard. Uh, you um, more recently are a business and spiritual coach. You've uh, runs um, Infinity, the Infinity Infinity Center and Infinity Magazine, which is a publication I've contributed to. Um, but one of the things that's really interesting for, uh, about you is that you are now a minister and you actually preside over weddings. And I do. Oh, it's wedding season. It's upon that's us. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So what I would love to talk to you about today uh, are some, uh, some advice uh, that you have for brides-to-be. So women who are getting, and guys, who yeah. are getting ready to, um, to um, get hitched. Uh, get married uh, um, we'll be talking about uh, what what some uh, pieces of advice that you have for them but before we do that I want you to just take us through the journey of your your business your career path because I think it's sure. really quite fascinating sure uh, so back in 2000 uh, was when I started my kind of entrepreneurial career I had done some coaching and in, in some projects before that but uh, that was when I really took off and with my husband we created a financial company uh, so we went from having nothing to creating a multi-million dollar company within uh, nine years and so I think about year five or so we said I think it's time to start selling this and it took us a long four years but we did it and uh, and sold the company uh, it's a lot of work selling a bigger bigger company so we did that and then we sort of went on our own in terms of uh, create you know he did what he wanted to do which was more construction and I went into business coaching and so I've done uh, business coaching now since 2009 and uh, because I was doing so many wellness and um, a spiritual companies that I was working with just by chance um, I started really getting into it a lot more and I've been spiritual since I was younger um, but I finally just decided that you know what I really want to uh, become a minister and, and do things for people in terms of you know working at, uh, at weddings and I do baby namings as well so those are fun and uh, and then I do funerals as well and, and I find that a real honor so so yeah so the weddings are part of that and I so I'm an officiant licensed in the province of Ontario and uh, and also uh, you know a minister as well so it's kind of crazy so the weddings that you host are mostly within um, I, I, I know that you do them in Toronto as well but mostly yes. during Ontario so people can hire you yeah yeah so I do pretty much uh, Belleville and North um, mm -hmm. and then I, I do go to Toronto as well and I do Pin Prince Edward County so a lot of your people would probably know that area I'm like 20 minutes away not even Mine country so, yeah that's right that's right so so uh, we do a lot of weddings there too so a lot of outdoor weddings um, but I do enjoy coming to Toronto as well so. fabulous now tips for okay. the brides to be or, or grooms to be yeah um, those that are getting married that are getting married this season um, what tips can you offer them uh, as they get ready yeah so so there's a few things that, so let's go over the first one real quick is to have a plan that's number one have a and plan. Uh, yes get your to-do list guest lists and etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, you know having having that plan ready first first off is really great and also not forgetting your officiant in that plan we, we tend to get forgotten we're at the bottom of the list and uh, and one, we're one of the most important pieces of the puzzle so that not would be number one unless you're in the picture exactly exactly um, number two would be remember to plan for bad weather um, you know I've done weddings where there's been no backup plan and you know you can get rainstorm thunderstorms especially out in the country areas where we are right. you know, you're the tallest thing out there so just remember that sometimes you know so having a backup plan uh, for, an, for an umbrella weather. me not cut it no no okay. not in the, the the worst one that I did no <laughs> I wouldn't have cut it 
<laughs> All right. Tried that, everything got blown away. So, yep. um, and I guess the third one would be to really enjoy the planning. So, right. you know, remember that it's for you, you know, that other people can be involved, but the day is actually for you and, and your, your uh, fiance or, or uh, you know, your significant other. So, yeah, that's important. I think a, a lot of people forget that that they're the ones who are important for that day. And, and what I try to do is get them relaxed and settled when they get there too. So, yeah. Yeah. Cause I think you'd mentioned to me uh, in an earlier conversation, sometimes the guys aren't breathing. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's true. It's true. So I get them to do just a little breathing before we start. So they get centered and they're there. They remember that they're there for each other and that it's not about all the other people around them. And it tends to kind of focus them in on each other for, for that time. And they just sort of forget that everybody else is watching them. So, yeah. What do you think the fear is around uh, the wedding for couples? Uh, speaking in public. <laughs> it's, it's the public speaking. Oh, yeah. yeah it, that's the number one thing for, for the men. Yeah. Interesting. It's, 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 you know, being put on the spot, having to say, you know, worried if they're going to forget their vows. And I just say, if you forget a line, I'm right here. I can give it to you again. <laughs> There's, you know, there's no problem. So I just try to make everybody feel comfortable and, uh, and you understand give them cheat that. Sheets. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 I just, I just repeat it again, repeat it again. And if, if it, you know, it's funny, it's sometimes people, um, you know, they have to read, they, they're going to do their own vows and they say, Oh, I'm going to memorize it. I say, okay, you memorize it. I'm going to bring your back up for you. And then I always end up having to just kind of nicely, you know, take it out and open it up in my book and, and have it there as a backup for them, you know, cause right. they'll never remember it when they get nervous. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So great tips um, for those that are getting ready to, to tie the knot this, yeah. this season. It's getting uh, busy too. It's, it's getting busy. So yes. book, book now. Yeah. And uh, for anyone who would like to book you for their wedding or would like to hire you as a business or spiritual coach, how do they reach you? Okay. So a couple of things. Um, remember I said uh, weddingwire.ca. I actually am on there as well under Darcel Reverend. Right. Dar Reverend Darcel Runsman. Um, but the main site is uh, darcelrunsman.ca for the weddings and darcelrunsman.com for the business coaching. So, Got it. Yeah, it's pretty well, easy. <laughs> well, Darcel, it's been really great uh, to Thank chat you. with you and catch up. And, Thanks. And uh, I wish you all the best. And, uh, and I'll be talking to you soon. Great. Thanks, Shannon. Have Take a care. good day. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs>